we're seeing a lot more activity on our nightmare treatment website. That's the nightmaretreatment.com website. And seeing uh, more interest in the people taking our nightmare quiz, purchasing our nightmare treatment program. And I'm getting a lot more calls of late, uh, especially from people who are working at military uh, institutions, uh, where of course people are interested in nightmare treatment because of the uh, active duty soldier and veterans uh, who've been recently involved in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. And one of the things that keeps coming up that I still find very interesting is the, the concept of the tipping point. Uh, what makes people believe that nightmares are actually a problem that should be treated on its own as opposed to something else such as nightmares should be, get, should be treated along with you know, someone's PTSD. And again, I still don't think we're at that tipping point, but it is interesting to see not only the increase in activity at our site and the increased interest in imagery rehearsal therapy for the treatment of nightmares, but it's, it's fun to talk to other providers and practitioners to learn about how did they actually find out about um, IRT and why are they interested in it and, and why are they using it. And of course, the biggest uh, um, factor so far that we are seeing is related in fact to the military and uh, active duty soldiers returning from Afghanistan and Iraq suffering from PTSD and chronic nightmares. And so I think that's been probably the single biggest trigger so far in getting people interested in wanting to learn about uh, our approach to uh, chronic nightmare treatment.